Okay, so we're here. And the first problem, it says, find the area bound between the curve, x squared minus 4 and the x-axis. So we're going to take a look at that. And what do I mean by that? I mean we're going to find the area bound by the curve, y equals x squared and the x-axis. Okay? So what does that mean? Well, so our curve we're starting out with is y is equal to x squared minus 4. We're going to want to sketch the graph. And this is the graph of a parabola. Okay? And the parabola is going to be face up. And the uh, face up parabola is going to have to intersect the x-axis. Okay? Why? Because its vertex is at uh, negative 4. So what we're going to have over here is 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have a negative 4 over here. And the x, it's a positive x squared term, so it's face up. And it looks something like this. OK? Uh, well, what we want to know is we want to know what this area is over here. And of course, I'll just write y is equals x squared. So we want to know what this point and this point are because that's going to be our integration. Well, the x-axis is just the curve. Whenever it says y-axis, you're asking looking at the curve y equals 0. Right? So we want to know the area between the curve y equals 0 in the curve y equals x squared. y equals 0 is the upper curve. So we're going to have the integral from a to b of 0 minus, I'm sorry, of 0 minus x squared minus 4 dx, which is going to be equal to the integral of a to b of negative, if I distribute the negative sign, let me zoom out a little bit here. Let me just go to menu and let me go to dot cam and let's zoom out or maybe reset zoom would be good. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. So the interval from A to B of 0 minus x squared plus 4 dx or we don't need the zero there, so this is just the integral from a to b of negative x squared plus 4 dx. Now, my lower limit is a, my upper limit is b, so this over here is going to be my upper limit, lower limit, this over here is going to be my upper limit. But what are those numbers? We have to figure out what they are, so we have to set our two equations x squared minus 4 and 0 equal to each other to find out where this parabola intersects the x-axis or y equals 0. Okay? So to do that, I'll just come down here and I'll say x squared minus 4 is equal to 0, which is the same as x squared is equal to 4, which is the same as x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, which is equal to plus or minus 2, <coughs> using the square root property. So it means that my uh, the, two, so the two places of intersection are x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. So my bigger one is going to be b is going to be 2. My smaller term uh, a is going to be x equals negative 2. So, continuing, this is going to be equal to the integral from negative 2 to 2 of negative x squared plus 4 dx, which is going to be equal to, since I can separate by addition, um, this is going to be x cubed over 3. So, it's going to be negative x cubed divided by 3 plus 4x evaluated from negative 2 to 2. And 
I am just going to plug in a 2 here. And if I plug in a 2 here, I'm going to get negative 2 cubed, which is 8, divided by 3, which is negative 8 thirds. Uh, plug in a 2 here, I'm going to be plus 8. And I'm going to minus the value at this lower term here. And I'm going to have minus uh, negative 2 cubed is negative 8 times a negative is a positive 8. So it's going to be 8 thirds. And if I plug in a minus sign here, I'm going to have minus 8. Like that. And this is going to be equal to negative 8 thirds. Um, minus 8 thirds and I'm going to have plus 8 and a minus a minus is going to be another plus 8 and that's going to be a negative 16 thirds plus 16 so this is going to equal I'll go on another sheet of paper over here but negative 8 thirds and negative 8 thirds gives me 16 thirds and 8 and this is also the negative and the negative gives me a positive 8 over here so I'm going to wind up with 16 minus 16 thirds, which is going to equal to, so what I want to do is I want to do 16 times 3, which is 54 thirds minus 16 thirds. And the reason I knew that so quick is, I want to multi um, I have a one on the bottom here, and I want to multiply three times one is three, and three times sixteen. Well, three times ten is thirty. Six um, and six times three is eighteen. Oh, that should be. I'm sorry, that's a forty-eight. I'm sorry. Um, thirty and eighteen is forty-eight. So good thing I checked that. And then we do forty, and let's subtract these two. Forty minus ten is thirty. And um, 8 minus 6 is 2, so that's going to be 32 divided by 3. And that should be our answer. And uh, if we look at answer choice A for that question, we find out that that is 32 thirds, which is A. Okay? Now, the next problem that was uh, asked to be found is kind of similar. The next problem was to find the area bound by the curve. So we want to find the area bound by the curve. Y is equal to negative 2 times X minus 2 times x minus 6 and the x-axis. Now the x-axis we'll just write as y equals 0. Right? So first thing we want to do is kind of sketch it. Right? So to sketch it we want to find where they're equal. Right? So what we're going to want to do is find out where negative 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 6 in the x-axis, which is y equals 0, so just write that equal to 0, where these two guys are equal. Well, I can divide by negative 2. If I divide by both sides by negative 2, I get x minus 2 times x minus 6 is equal to 0. So x equals 6. And x equals 2 are where these guys are, are equal at. Alright. So I know that I know that the um, the place where this uh, function intersects the x axis are 6 and 2. And now what I'm going to want to do now is I'm going to multiply this guy out. So I have x minus 2 times x minus 6 is equal to x times x is going to give me x squared 
minus 6x because I do x times minus 6. Now I go with the negative 2. Negative 2 times x is minus 2x. And negative 2 times negative 6 is plus 12, which is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 12. Okay? Now I can graph it. The constant term um, is going to be my um, is going to be the value when x is equal to zero. So when x is equal to zero, I get the y-intercept. So the function is going to, um, which is I guess not too important, but the function is going to be is going to intercept at x equals six and x equals two. So we go one two and one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the function, and because the x squared term is positive, the parabola is going to be face up. It's going to intersect here, and it's going to intersect here. So we want this area over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to integrate this function. Now my upper function here is y equals, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to multiply by negative 2. Not going to change anything. So then I just multiply this by negative, I multiply this by negative 2. And I multiply this by negative 2. And I get this is equal to negative 2x squared minus uh, plus 16x minus 24. <coughs> okay? So now we can graph this. We know that it's going to be a face down parabola. And I know my limits in integration where intersects the x axis are 2 and 6. Okay? So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so the pra what we're going to do is we're going to find the area between y equals negative 2x squared plus 16x minus 24 and y equals 0 which is the x-axis and we know that our points of intersection from the previous paper if we set these two guys equal to each other like so we get x equals 6 and x equals 2. Now the fact that the x squared term is negative here means it's a face down parabola and we're going from 2 to 6 and it's going to look something like this because it's a face down parabola and hits the x-axis twice. We're going to want this area over here. Now the upper curve is going to be the negative 2x squared uh, plus 16x minus 24 and the lower curve is the y-axis, which is y equals 0. So the area between the two curves is going to be the integral from 2 to 6 of negative 2x squared plus 16x minus 24 dx. And of course I do this minus 0, but subtracting 0 doesn't do anything, so I'll just leave that. Now, this is going to be equal to the integral of, from, of a negative 2 times x squared from 2 to 6 plus 16 times the integral from 2 to 6 of x minus 24 times the integral from 2 to 6 dx. So this is going to be equal to negative 2 times x cubed all over 3 